Hi guys, it's Timo from Job Tides here. Uh, in this video we're going to show you how to download the very popular Tweetion app uh, which has now got a native version for Sailfish on the Jolla. Um, most of you who've used Nokia phones before, the Nokia N9, uh, the N900, I believe, and Symbian, um, you may have come across Tweetion. It's a very nice um, Twitter application. Um, and Vescu from Jolla has actually now ported it over for uh, native uh, as a native Selfish application. So uh, in this video I'll quickly show you how to download it and just do a quick run through of the features. So first of all you want to open the native browser and I will put this, this is a link to a drop, uh, Dropbox download uh, which I'll put in the box below for anyone who wants to download the app. Uh, it is still in uh, beta mode at the moment but um, it should uh, come to the store quite soon um, and it's from what I've heard it's very good um, in already in this form so when you've um, clicked the link below uh, and you've got to this screen you want to hit download and the notification comes up there and it shouldn't take long there we go file downloaded so now we want to come out of there and we want to go to the file browser the native file browser available on the Jolla store and go to downloads and it's just there, Tweetion the version that I've got on here is 1.8.2 hyphen 1 so if we hit that and install and while that's installing that's finished actually so we'll go to the bottom and you can see it's been added there um, I was just going to show you this uh, tethering app which we've recently downloaded to allow network tethering uh, from your Jolla to your PC via Bluetooth Wi-Fi um, so you know it's great for if you're on the road with your tablet or whatever and you need an internet uh, connection uh, you can now tether your device via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Very simple app. Um, there's settings there. Uh, that's for the Wi-Fi setup, where you add your network name, the network pre-shared key, or you can also enable Bluetooth tethering, which I have tested and it works very well. So that was just a quick, um, just to show you that. Very nice to got that now. Um, okay, so let's go into Tweetion. Just a quick run through of the features. Um, right, we're already set up here, but um, you would have normally had to have gone through the uh, sort of authorization process, which is very simple. You just authorize the app and provide uh, the code, in t uh, add the code into Tweetion. But so here we have a list of all the feeds. Um, you can refresh those Uh, nothing at the moment. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, you can write a new tweet. So let's do a quick update. Um, tweet. <clears throat> there we go. Tweet sent successfully. This is fairly embedded into the Sailfish UI, um, more so than obviously the Android apps, um, Android Twitter apps, and it's got much more functionality than the standard. Uh, I'll show you quickly if we go down here. I'll show you the the the, uh, the Jolla Twitter um, app currently, which gives you the option to go to Twitter which would take you to the site or update and there you see our tweet has gone through already um, but the problem with the, this native Jolla Twitter is it only gives you something like 15 tweets in one go so 
you're very limited. It's just really, um, you know, a quick view from the notifications. If if you see a notification come in and you want to view the tweet, it's just really good for that. But for in-depth Twitter sort of um, interaction, it's not not very good. So it'd be great to see Tweetion sort of in place of um, the uh, native Twitter sort of app there because obviously you can do a lot more and you can see how many, I mean there's pages and pages there um, obviously you've got the connect uh, one where you see people who have mentioned you and you've got private messages as well and you have you c can change settings as about tuition uh, tells you a bit about it and user information that's for our account and then general settings uh, image upload service you can change that to twitpic moby picture img.ly or the standard twitter um, and update settings you have the refresh interval um, enable notification for mentions and direct messages so that would be something that would obviously link in with the Sailfish uh, UI so if, if you enable that then you, when you get a direct message or a notification it would show up at the top of the screen so again it is quite well embedded into Sailfish um, and then there's a muting uh, option which I believe blocks certain uh, tweets with certain uh, values in them or so that you know you don't get bombarded by spam <laughs> quite funny there it says at Nokia um, sw switch to Lumia so <laughs> that's an example but um, anyway so so that's it really um, so it's nicely integrated with Sailfish and it's definitely worth downloading Hope you guys have found that useful and like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.